In today's episode of Coaches on Zoom Drinking Coffee, I had a very fun and free-flowing conversation with Marsha Reynolds. We explored uh, different topics like should coaches provide advice? We explored the world of emotions. We talked about not confusing the map with the territory when it comes to coaches having a framework for coaching, but not necessarily just sticking to it 100%, but being in the moment and meeting the client where they are. Marsha is just super fun, super deep, very well read, it's done a ton of research. I think you will enjoy this episode. When you're working with coaches, how do you enable them to develop a way of coaching that is about connecting with the client and not following a specific formula? Yeah. Well, there's two things, Alex. Um, first off, uh, both in the book and and in my programs, I'm always looking at um, who are you as a coach, uh, not just what you do. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of research on what creates people to feel safe in the moment so they will open up with you quickly, you know, because coaching can be actually very quick if um, this is a really safe, dynamic interaction. And uh, so I, I always teach the opening the nervous system of receiving, not just, you know, and, and not judging what people are saying and, and not trying to remember. And, and which brings me to the second piece is, Uh, Everyone knows that I I push reflective inquiry, that coaching isn't just about asking questions. In fact, it never (laughs) was just about asking questions. If you even look at the original ICF competencies, reflection was always an important piece, like summarize, paraphrase what they're saying, notice their emotional shifts. And there's coaching schools that teach you can only ask open questions. That's not true. You know, and that becomes annoying <laughs> instead of um, helpful. And I have found that the, it's the reflection that helps people pull the thinking out of their brain and look at it where they can actually see the, the gaps in their logic and the, the crazy assumptions they're making with no evidence and how their fears are holding them back by just sharing back with them. So here's what I hear you saying. You know, that even I'll ask the question, what do you think about that? How does that relate to what you want to create? Um, But the power of the question comes because it's paired with the reflection. You know, so again, I see that people have long forgotten (laughs) that this is a reflective inquiry process. And the only way I can fully reflect is if I'm fully present with you. So I can pick up what's most important and and the things that you repeat, um, that it's important for you to hear them. So they go together. They go together. And that's what I tried to blend then in uh, Coach the Person, Not the Problem. 